Let's talk about the video you're about to see today. The one you're about to see is about Nino Gaggi and a story that Pete LaFrasha is sort of uh, you know, telling from you know close relationship to Roy and Nino when they uh, both got uh, in a gunfight with the Vincenti brothers and then also with a, a police officer. So this is some pretty cool stuff. Stay tuned. Watch it. It's good stuff. It's five friggin' minutes. Watch the whole thing. And don't forget to subscribe. Would you not forget to subscribe? We need just a few more subscribers. We're going to be going live all the time. Help us out. Subscribe. Watch this. It's a fun deal. You're going to like it a lot. Who you see in this picture is Big Paul Castellano, Nino Gaggi, a real old school gangster, and Pete LaFrasha, who you all know, a good friend of mine. The feds. As the reputed head of the Crime Commission and the godfather of the Gambino family, his appearance in court every day and the preoccupation with his defense were bad for business. Penny, his name is, his name is Penny, I know that. Mm -hmm. And she's a flash in the car. Mm -hmm. So what he does is he calls cops, right? Mm -hmm. So they fucking off duty cop in the cab comes, right? So they take the gun, the 38, and they throw it down the sewer, right? And they're running. Roy runs one way and Nino runs the other way, right? Yep. Nino comes up on Coney Island Avenue, he makes the right. And the fucking cat, cop in the taxi cab yells, Stop! Freeze! They shoot it out. The cop shoots Nino in the neck. Nino goes down, okay? So now, this is what happens. Nino gets locked up with the bullet in his neck. He's saying the cop never shot him. He was shot in the car. He was running from the guys that shot him in the car. So we need to get the 38 back out of the sewer. Get the 38 back out of the sewer. Take it, shoot it in a 50-gallon drum of water. Take the bullet. Give it to Nino's nephew. Uh, uh, Dominic, Dominic. Dominic, okay. Dominic takes you to the hospital, right? Yeah. Nino fucking pops the bullet out of his neck, right? Gives it to Dominic, takes the bullet from Dominic, puts it in his neck from the gun that the Vincenti brothers got shot with. So he looks like he got shot too. By the Vincenti brothers, not by the cops. Vincenti, no, the, no, right. The ones who ever shot the guys in the car shot him also. He was running for his life. So when the cops seen him, he didn't know if it was a fucking one of the guys who tried because he was off the right, so he ran. So they shot it out. You know? Yeah. But they never had the cop's bullet in his neck to prove that. They, when he pulled the bullet out, they said, oh, he must have been the victim. Yeah. One of the victims. Because he had the same slug in him that the other two guys in the car had, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. What a story that was. That's crazy. If I had a All right. So you just saw these three guys in the, in the sketch. But what we were really talking about is Nino. A bullet in the fucking neck. It's pretty badass. And they switched it out and put it in. That's an old school gangster. Nino was in that gunfight with Roy. Now, for all of you, they go, you're talking, they, Nino's dead, Roy's dead, Paul's dead, everybody involved is dead, so nobody's gonna get in trouble for any of this, right? Pete knows the story because he knew Nino very close and he was very close with Roy, okay? But Nino is one of the baddest gangsters on the planet. And I'm here to tell you, that's one badass story. We were out in Palm Springs. We were filming other things. That, as you can see, Pete was in his underwear. I was, I was cooking spaghetti sauce. And we were just having a chat. And I thought that I would find this, when I ran across this nugget, I would share it with you guys. Because you guys aren't just subscribers. You're becoming friends. I love talking to you on there. But you got to get more people to subscribe. Come on! Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. This is good shit. All right.